Okay, so we've now got the hose up, so it's just testing this rear. So if we jump in this bit here, and just quickly jump into the boot area. So we can see the water's on the outside of the car. Right, so now what we've got is down here, we've got a little twisty camera. And what that's doing is it's going up the box, the box section at the back. There we go. So it's that bung. There it is. So it's a common problem on these ones. Um, so that's obviously causing it to leak down the inside of the car as we can see here. And then what it's then doing is it will fill up inside this box section and then the only way for it to disappear would be run against this panel here and then when it would then come out it would come out down here and then to come out of there we would then come out of this area here and then it would then work its way down into the foot wells that would explain why the foot wells are wet um, so there we go, uh, that grommet is leaking on both sides, but the driver's side is a lot worse than the passenger side. Um, so we're going to advise obviously taking the seats out and getting it all up so we can dry it. Uh, if I just quickly squeeze out of here and quickly go around to the other side. Uh, the reason being is there doesn't look like there's much water in this side. Uh, but if I take this special little machine and turn it on, it tells us if there's any water underneath the carpets without us actually lifting the carpets. So if we put it here, it's reading that there's water underneath the carpet. But if I move it across to here, we can see that the reading isn't as high as what it was before. So there's possibly the water has gone into the gully and that's what's causing it to bleep. Um, so there's not a lot of water under this side, but there is signs of a tiny bit. And if we come round to the front as well, on the passenger side, once again. But then if we come to the middle, there we go. So there's actually a trough what runs under here. So I'm, I'm probably thinking that the water's gone up to the trough. Uh, but as we can see up here, it's not sanding. So it's only got to about this far. Right, okay, so a couple of reasons why we like to dry the cars is because obviously one, you can get electrical problems, two, you can get mould, and also you can get a nasty smell, which is like a mouldy, dirty water smell. Um, so that's why we advise obviously getting them all dried and repaired. Um, so there we go, that's that one there. Any more information, just click the link down below.